So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is a very your mass coder today. And today we will be solving Fibonacci series up to the nth term. Okay. So today's problem is that you have been provided with a number n, and you have to provide me the all the n plus one Fibonacci terms, right? So suppose for those of you who are not who are not aware of what is Fibonacci, so Fibonacci is a sequence in which the first term is 0, second term is 1, and all the other terms, that is this term, this term, this term, this term, is the sum of the previous two terms. So for this term, it will be 0 plus 1, which is equals to 1. For this term, it will be 1 plus 1, that will be 2. For this term, it will be 1 plus 2, that is 3. For this term, it will be 2 plus 3, that is 5, and so on and so forth. 5 plus 3, 8. 8 plus 5, 13, etc., etc., right? Okay, so now when I go to the question, I see for an input n equals to 5, I'm actually getting an output of length 6. So that's why I deduce that I have, I have to return the n plus 1 length sequence of Fibonacci, right? Okay, so now if I see the question again, it says that my constraint is from 1 till 10 to the power 5. Constraint is from 1 till 10 to the power 5. Okay, so if my n lowest n is 1, what is my lowest uh, length of the output array? So it is n plus 1, so it will be 2 up till 10 to the power 5 plus 1, right? 2 up till 10 to the power 5 plus 1. So in case of 2, what is my answer? It is 0, 1. That is the first two terms that are fixed. In case of 3, it is 0, 1, 1. That is the sum of 1 plus 0 added. In case of 4, this is for 2, this is for 3, this is for 4. 4, it is 0, 1, 1. And 1 plus 1 is 2, right? So on and forth, so forth. So what we will do? This problem is very easy, so I don't want to waste your time explaining it uh, ruthlessly. So I will create a vector of type int, name it as answer, and declare its size as n plus one beforehand. Right now, I will make answer zero as zero, answer one as one. Right, and now. Since I have an n plus 1, for suppose 4, it will be of size 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, maximum index will be 4 in this case, right? So it is 0, it is 1. Now for i equals to 2, up till n, what will I do? I will say that answer of i is equals to answer of i minus 1 plus answer of i minus 2 whole with modulo more now what is this mode it has been mentioned here in the question that i have to return the terms modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so here i will declare an int mode equals to 1 e 9 plus 7 that is your short form for 10 to the power 9 plus 7 you can add in the elaborated form as well Right, and after this for loop, I will return my answer. So for the given input, let's suppose we have the input as 10. So what is happening for n equals to 10, right? So for n equals to 10, the code I have written above is making an array of size 11. So maximum index will be 10, right? So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? This is the size of 11, right? Then first two terms are 0 and 1 that are also initialized in the code itself. Now for this index, up till this index, what is happening? 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 5, 13, 13 plus 8, 21, 21 plus 3, 34, 30, 34 plus 21 it will be 5 and 55 i guess let's see what is the answer yes it is the same and i will return that answer so let's code it down and then we will discuss the time time and space complexity so what did i do i just created a vector of int name data the answer of size n plus 1 right now answer of 0 equals to 0 answer of 1 equals to 1 right and then i just took a mod for the better calculation so 1 e 9 plus 7 now, for int i going from 2 up till equals to n, i plus plus, 
index equals to answer of i minus 1 plus answer of i minus 2 x modulo equals to mod and then answer of x equals to answer of i sorry answer of i equals to x and then just return your answer now what is the time complexity of this code you can see i am run it, running it n times so o of n is the time complexity and what is the space complexity i am just taking an, uh, an extra space to store my answer array and that is all space complexity and now let's see if it is running fine so there is uh, no error for the uh, companion case let's try it for submit also hope it works fine in the meantime if you are new here do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video and thank you for watching you can see we have completed 99 day streak and tomorrow we will be completing our 100 day streak so thank you all for supporting me in this journey thank you and have a nice day